Everyone, this is your friend and mine, the Film Twit, coming to you live and direct from the depths of the Twit Cave with more Marvel heroes on this Marvel morning. Let's get started. When we last left off, Storm had just made it past Grim Reaper and Madripoor and goes up to level 56, which leads me to believe we're not going to be doing much more with her today. Um, I might switch over to another character if we get finished up, just so I can continue... Uh, continue talking about the new comics that came out today. That being said, let's dive right in. Uh, first up on the list, Action Comics number 980 by Dan Jurgens and Patrick Zercher. Um, I'm really liking the, uh, the path they're going in, in Action Comics right now. The, um, the League of Superman's Enemies coming together to destroy Superman is a pretty cool concept. Um, I'm interested to see where they're going to go with it now that they're bringing Zod in. See if he's going to join the team or what's going on because they've really honestly done Zod dirty in the new 52. So hopefully with Rebirth we can uh, rehab some of that. Alright, after that is Batman Beyond number 8. Um, I'm kind of falling out of love with this uh, series. It's not as good as I would hope. Come on, break. Oh, it's a ground type. It's not very effective. That's that taken care of. Treasure room. Um, the art is fine. The writing is fine. I just don't... I don't know. I don't... I guess I don't like where the story is going. I don't like the post-brother eye. Um post-apocalyptic future DC universe. Um, I'm glad they brought back Terry McGinnis, but um, I don't know if it's enough. Dang, yo. How much life this guy got? There we go. Lady be praised. Exactly what I need. Hmm. It's got two more energy. It's got more health. I think I'll stick with the unique. Alright, after Batman Beyond is Batman the Shadow, number two of six, by Scott Snyder and Riley Rossmo. Um, the first issue was okay. Uh, I think I'm going to ride this one out. It's only six issues. But... Um, they better actually do something here pretty quick or I'm going to lose my interest. Yes, please. Um, now a comic that's not normally on my poll list, but because of an, uh, a crossover, I had to get it. And I hate doing that, but it was okay in this uh, instance. Deathstroke number 19 by Christopher Priest and Carlo Pagu... Pagalion? I'm probably pronouncing that horribly that wrong. The goddess of thunder I have heard so much about. Um, good issue. Uh, it's not going to get me to read Deathstroke going forward, but as far as the uh, current series goes, 
they did a really good job of tying it into the um, what an odd treasure to find here. Tying it into the overarching story. There it is. The poison glade. Um, art is nice. Uh, characterization is nice. I like to see that um, Jericho is coming back and maybe joining the Titans. Jericho is one of my favorite old school Titans characters. And uh, seeing him in a new costume and all that. I don't know if he's shown up before in the new 52. Maybe he's been in Deathstroke and... I just don't know because I haven't been reading it, but uh, I don't know. Anytime I get to see Jericho, I dig it. Level 57! Um, okay, after Deathstroke, number 19, is Wonder Woman, number 23, by Greg Rucka and Liam Sharp. Um, can these storylines be over yet? Uh, I believe this is the last issue of The Truth which is the modern day Wonder Woman storyline. And then next issue is going to be the end of God Watch, which is the past Wonder Woman storyline. I don't know. It's so hard to keep them apart now because all the characters are the same. Um, but I'm trying. I'm trying to suffer through. Because I like Wonder Woman. I like this creative team. It's just... Uh, it's so hard keeping the stories separate. Man, Storm, you boring. Alright, next up. Black Panther number 14 by ta Coates and Wilfredo Torres. Um, huge Black Panther fan. Been a fan of this series ever since it first uh, came out. Um, and the whole digging into uh, Wakanda's past and trying to find out what's happened to Wakanda's gods. Uh, I'm all for it. I think it's going to be a good time. There we go, level 59. I'm going to hit 60 before you know it. Better speed this up. Uh, Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme, number 8, by Robbie Thompson and Javier Rodriguez. Um, I'm of two minds on this title. Uh, not that I think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. It's just not as exciting as it could be, I guess I want to say. Um, they could be doing more with the past Sorcerer Supreme and have more tension between uh, Doctor Strange and the Ancient One who is not the Ancient One yet. I don't know. Maybe I'm not giving it enough of a chance, but we're eight issues in, and uh, it still hasn't really grabbed onto me. So, this one may be dropping off of my pull list at some point in the near future. 
Uh, after that, we've got Jean Grey number two by Dennis Hopeless and Victor Ibanez. Um, Jean Grey number one was a great issue. Um, I really enjoyed everything about it. Um, and it left with such a cliffhanger that I don't want to get into, even though it's been a month, you know, on leery of spoilers. Um, but I've got really high hopes for this series. Oh, shit, I got Tempest. Get all the XP, get these Eternity Splinters. No, no, no. Maybe. Plus one durability. I don't need durability. Let's go get this treasure coffer. Um, next one up, Mighty Captain Marvel number 5 by Margaret Stuhl and Ramon Rosanas. Um, I struggled with whether I was going to buy this comic or not this week. Um, I've been trying to avoid as much of the uh, Secret Empire stuff as I possibly can. I've been doing a very poor job of it. Let's see. More speed, more energy. No health on hit. But I don't get hit anyway. Yeah, we'll do it. And no. Um, I've been trying to avoid Secret Empire. I'm just not interested. But uh, they're doing that thing where they're taking all of my favorite books and making them Secret Empire tie-ins. So to keep up with those books, I need to read the Secret Empire tie-ins. Um... Now, last week, there were a couple, and they seemed, they seemed like if I had missed them, I wouldn't have missed much in the way of uh, storyline for that comic. They were just uh, important for the actual Secret Empire event, and if that is true, uh, going forward with the rest of these comics, then I will be a very happy camper. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to have to suck it up and read this uh, Secret Empire tie-in to keep up with Mighty Captain Marvel. Uh, after that is X-Men Blue number 4 by Cullen Bunn and Jorge Molina. Um, all the X-Books have been really good so far. Uh, Jean Grey, Gold, Blue. Um, obviously haven't had a chance to read cable yet, but I'm excited about that. Haven't had a chance to read, um... Is it Uncanny X-Men? I don't know. The one with, uh, like the fan favorite team with, um, Psylocke and Mystique and all them. Uh, excited to see that happen. But for right now, X-Men Blue has been uh, quite good. I'm liking the uh, the characterization of Beast and uh, the tension between Jean and Scott with Jean being the leader, not Scott being the leader. And 
all that good stuff. Da -da, da -da, da -da. What you got for me, Chest? Basically nothing. Give me a bunch more health. I'm going to keep my Wind Rider cape. Alright, and last but not least, my only, well, unless you count Batman uh, Shadow, which is co-published by Dynamite, but my only non-Big 2 comic uh, this week is Optimus Prime number 7. Um, we just finished up an interesting storyline with Optimus Prime, dealing with the Junkions and what it means for the uh, Cybertronians to be on Earth. So I'm interested to see what happens next. And skip. Fury told me you might be visiting. What? No ding sixty? But but ding sixty. Alright, it sucks, but I'll take it. Where's the earth-shattering kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. Um, not sold on the art, but uh, I believe... I'm not certain on this, but I believe we got a new artist this week. Um, I don't recognize the name uh, Priscilla Tramontano. Oh, uh, by the way, it's John Barber and Priscilla Tramontano. I uh, just realized I missed that. But, like I said, I don't recognize that name, so I think she's new. So maybe we're going to get some different art. Um, but I guess the best thing I can... Did I really just one-shot that guy? There we go. Ah! Neat. I guess that's quite the ultimate. Oh, it follows me. Neat. She should float during it, though. Alright. Well, with that, that's all the time we have for today and all the time we have for Storm. Uh, we'll be up and running tomorrow with a new character. Um, still haven't decided who yet. We are getting close to being finished, aren't we? A lot of 60s. One of these days I'm going to have to get on is and just do a quickie with Iron Man and Cyclops to wrap them up. I think I have to wrap up Hulk, too. Yeah. But they're only at the most 10 levels each, so... I should be able to knock them out pretty quick. Um, but that being said, uh, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I will see you in the later times. Bye-bye. Uh,